Hi everyone, this is um, my week 38 update. 38 weeks after surgery. That's crazy. It doesn't feel like, 38 weeks doesn't feel like it's that long ago, but it still feels like it was like a year ago. Um, so yeah, so let's get into my numbers and then we'll talk about this past week. Um, my highest recruiter weight was 557 pounds. My The date of my surgery, July 24, 2014, <laughs> was 366. And last week was um, 247. And this week, I'm still at 247. So I am 100% okay with that. I'm not gaining, which um, a couple weeks ago I was fluctuating, um, mostly due to stress and um stressful, you know, stress eating and all that good stuff. Um, so this week I'm not struggling with that partially because I posted reminders around my house, which I spoke about last week, um, to remind me, Hey, why am I eating? And that's this week working for me. Um, so I applied for a promotion within my company and I did the first interview. Great. The second interview went really well. And I did get a response saying that they had chose somebody else, that I did not get it, but it was expressed that I was the, one of the top two candidates and that the person that chose had a very, very hard time um, choosing between me and the other person. And um, that, you know, um, that I do have the qualifications for the promotion. Uh, it's just this other person had um, more experience in the area which these clients um, needed. Um, so uh, why I was tragically disappointed. <laughs> um, the email was actually very helpful. Um, it pointed out everything that I did right. And the um, line manager for the PGMs actually met with me after. And um, he made me feel very confident in my job and confident in my interviewing abilities and that I would have done a good job um, if I had gotten the promotion and um, that he does want to see me to apply for others. The sad thing about this is that this particular role only comes around every so often. Uh, like the last one was a year ago. And um, so I, I really can't hang around waiting for a promotion through this company at the moment um, because they do come far between um, with opportunities. And I do need to up my income somehow with my insurance being as expensive as it is and, you know, cost of living going up. Um, I really haven't had a substantial raise in a while, and it's just how the company works. They really don't give raises that often. Um, so I do need to um, find a way to make more money. So one of the things that I decided I had to do was look for a second job. And I had to decide, um, did I want to work at home or did I want to work out outside of the home? And I really had to contemplate about getting a second job because this means most of the jobs that I'm looking for want 20 to 40 hours a week. Some of them want me to commute to San Francisco occasionally. Excuse me. Um, so um, I didn't want to do outside of the home because I think I would have to um, I would have to factor in time to commute to and from and. Uh, would that give me time to still um, focus on my health and weight loss and working out? Um, so I wanted to do uh, another moderation job and how my company works. I really can't work with another competitor, which is totally understandable. So a competitor would be like another company that offered services to other companies similar to ours, such as moderation or creating media content or anything along the lines. So looking, I had to be very specific in looking at these companies um, were not third party moderation that I would actually be working for this particular website for their website only. Um, so I actually put out like 10 inquiry letters and so far I got about five responses back. Um, but that was just, um, Thursday and Friday morning that I'd been sending these out. Um, one of them is for a medical site, um, which they do apps for phones and they have an online community and stuff. And I did an interview with them earlier this morning and that went really well. Um, I was just very honest that, you know, I'm not, that I do have a, you know, I do have a job already and that I'm not looking at replacing that job, just, um, looking to add to my income. And they do, it's in San Francisco and they do want someone in San Francisco, but she seemed really interested and they're just like, would you be willing to commute one or two days a week 
or, you know, a few times a month uh, to do some stuff in office. And I was like, yeah, you know, that's, that would be, that would be cool. You know, well, I didn't say cool because it's not professional, but so yeah, that's really acceptable. You know, I'd be interested in doing something like that. And, um, she's like, well, um, we definitely have evening and weekend hours. And, um, and so, um, you know, if you're, you know, we're interested and, you know, I'll look at what we can do to see if you would fit with us and, you know, I'll contact you about a second interview. Um, so she said that she liked that I was assertive and that, um, I was very forthright and very straightforward, forthright, straightforward with things. Um, so the interview seemed to go well. And I told her, I said, you know, if, if this is not a good match now because of scheduling conflict, I understand. Um, but I would really like to keep you in my network and keep in contact with you just in case something did arise that I would fit for in your, in your company or, you know, and I explained a little bit about the company that I did. And I said, you know, if you're looking for additional training on moderation, moderation or anything like that, you know, um, I'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction since you guys are a growing company. Um, so uh, she took my number down and and she was just like, yeah, I'd like to keep in contact with you if, if you know, if we can't work you in our schedule. Um, so I'm looking, I, you know, I felt like I made a really good contact with that. Um, I also applied for Square Unix. Um, as a game master, what? that's actually what I'm really passionate about is gaming. Um, but, um, I did hear back from them. Um, so I'm waiting kind of like for a response for them about interview time. Um, so we'll see. Um, I kind of don't have a lot of hope with that because I do have some experience game mastering, but I think they're probably looking for someone a little bit more experienced in that area. Um, but you know, it's just putting yourself out there, taking a chance. You never know what's going to come up. Um, the other site is actually, I don't, I applied to so many in all honesty. Uh, I thought I applied to one, but I got a response from another site that I don't remember applying for. And it's for a children's site actually, um, uh, which is right up my alley. And, um, she, they had us, um, they had us fill out like this questionnaire. And it was a really long questionnaire. It wasn't like just a simple one or two answers or yes or no. It was essay questions, like 10 of them. And um, it took me a while to do it, but I did fill it out. And they got back to me right away. Like as soon as I filled it out, I emailed them and said, hey, I filled out your questionnaire. You know, thank you for your time. Let me know if there's anything else you need. And within five minutes of me filling out that questionnaire, I got an email back saying, hey, we want to do a Skype interview with you. Um, can you give us times when you're available? Uh, this week. So that's promising. It seems like a lot of these jobs that I'm applying for want someone in like now. Um, so hopefully uh, where their schedule is open is I'm open too. Um, because I, I, you know, I'm kind of intrigued about this, um, the second, uh, this, this uh, children's job. I, I don't remember applying for it. Um, and that's, that's the really weird thing is I really don't remember applying for it. <laughs> Um, so, uh, it will be very, very interesting. Um, they asked a lot of questions, uh, from a teacher's point of view, uh, which is interesting because, um, I was a teacher for a number of years. So they were asking, you know, let's say you're a teacher and this and this and this happens. And I was like, Oh, MG, like, that's right. I've had that happen before. I'm a teacher. Like, I know the answer to this, you know? Um, so I feel like it was up my alley. And they asked a really weird one, which is like, what's your favorite children's movie and why? And I picked Labyrinth and, I know it's a PG movie, but you know, I watched it as a kid and it's not, you know, I mean, when I was teaching, we had parents sign off so kids can watch it. Most of the parents were like, Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. 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 They could, you know, totally. Um, but when they said, why did you like it? And I said, well, when I was a kid, I loved the fairy tale aspect to it. And I said, and not only that, but my first crush was David Bowie. <laughs> and I went on to explain as an adult why I view it as a still, you know, a still relevant children's movie. And I was just like, you know, it teaches some very important lessons. Like things are not what they seem. Um, be responsible for your actions. Um, and other things like, uh, you know, um, that, you know, sometimes family and friends let you down. But it is how they make up for it that matters. And uh, what was the last one? Um, oh, and then I felt that the movie reflected gender equality really well. And the reason why I feel that way is that the main villain, David Bowie's character, Jared, uh, wears makeup and fabulous clothing and does it like a boss and is a powerful person. 
and the female character, you know, had to grow and develop and she had to fight, you know, to win, you know, to win her adventure. So, um, I thought Miranda was fabulous, but, uh, um, anyway, so I'm kind of looking forward to that, um, uh, interview. I don't have a personal Skype, so I will have to make a personal Skype account when I'm off work and, um, give her my Skype account. So that's going to be interesting. Um, so maybe next week I'll have good news or, or not. I don't know. It's an adventure looking for a job. Um, I haven't done it for a long time. And I remember being so nervous when I was doing it that I was just like every job I had to get. And this time it's like, I'll get one. I just need to make sure it's the right fit for me and the, and the client or me and the, the company. Um, so yeah, the medical one seems really interested on um, this one with the children's site. They seem really interested too. And so I'm, I'm interested in seeing how all this plays out. Um, <clears throat> so until next week, my friends, remember that surgery and weight loss is not about a number or a size, but it's about getting healthy. And I hope the other side of surgery is as fabulous for you as it has been for me. And remember, I want you all to be happy, healthy, and safe on your journey. So until next week, bye.